Hey, welcome back to yet another edition of Avid Golfer Magazine's Fearless Fantasy Forecast. This week is the Safeway Open, but last week we came this close. This close. Justin Thomas would have pulled it out. Shoffley would have pulled it out. But Dustin was just, he's too damn strong. It's still up. Eight straight weeks now. We've made money. Both of my teams came in. Yep. Um, I just I had one miss because I had Munoz and, and uh, Mackenzie Hughes, which were rock stars mm -hmm. for where they were. Just missed with Kevin Kisner. Yeah, it was tough. Made a change with Kisner. I probably would have not be here. I'd probably be soaking some rays up in some beach. Yes, and nuts. Okay, so this week, unfortunately, it's the Safeway Open. Why now, is that unfortunate? It's unfortunate for them because this year, they normally they get a pretty decent field. This year was sandwiched between the Tour Championship and the U.S. Open. A lot of fallout. Yeah, but we don't care about that. It's fortunate for us because on these little side events, these little weak field events, we do really I'm well. I'm looking out for the sponsors of these well, events, I'm looking too, out for guys. us, baby, and our <laughs> prognostication-ing, if that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> we were on such a roll. Last year, the, the uh, champion was Cameron Champ. He's not playing this week. So this thing is wide open. By the way, that's, that's flawed, isn't it? Flawed guy. Don't you... Don't you try to repeat when you win? Yeah, Nobody I'm has sorry. allegiance That's to anything wrong. anymore. They don't have allegiance That's to anything wrong. anymore. All right, so it's a reduced field, meaning, I mean, as far as the quality of field. So some guys that maybe struggle against the top flight guys might have a chance this week. Yeah, but I got four rock-solid picks that are mm -hmm. on both teams. Ooh, okay. And so uh, I like it. All right, go All ahead. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm okay. ready. Two of them you've probably heard very frequent with me the last month or so, and that is Denny McCarthy, mm -hmm. best putter of the game right now. Not bad. He did really, really well. He was coming on really well until he just didn't make Wait. it to the top 30. Yeah. Um, so he's in. Wesley Bryan. Like Wesley Bryan. Has not missed a cut since his injury. He has high average points, 77 per. Yes. It's pretty good. All in on him. Hmm. Okay, one that I picked, and this may be a little risky, but I like it, and I, I, like I did my research online, mm -hmm. like most of us. Mm -hmm. Doc Redman, mm -hmm. he's either feast or famine. He's a top tenner or a miss cutter. But I'm watching this trend. I'm watching where he is, a weaker field. I'm saying he's a top tenner here. All right. And then my stone cold <laughs> lock. Go with Brendan Steele. Please don't say that. He was expensive. Um, but he hasn't missed a cut since June. No. Nope. And so I like him. So those are my four on both teams. The yep. other team, right. I have Scott Stallings. He had a f fifth in Barracuda. That was the last week field event. Mm -hmm. I kind of look at that. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and then I took Cameron Davis. He was playing really well. I don't know what happened to him. I would have figured he was going to be in the top 30, but yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, he fell off. So I like him. All right. The other team, <clears throat> okay, the two guys, usually when you have a field like this, it's usually like that, that young kid who makes his first win. Okay. Right? So I went with two kids. I went with Will Gordon. All right. I went with Maverick McNeely. Hmm. So interesting. But those top four, baby, I like them and go with Brendan Steele. All right, you've been lock. on a roll. You've been on a roll. Okay, so we kind of copacetic on a couple of the uh, guys on both teams. Really, I'm surprised. I know, me too, because I thought we were going to be way over all over the place on the map. I took Brendan Steele as well. My only worry was I think a lot of people are going to take him. That's he's my, expensive That's still. my only iffy. But he's the winner in 17 and 18. Uh -huh. He plays that course well. Took Harold Varner the third. Okay. He's made all five cuts there, has a 14 and a 17. That would be a good place for his first win. Yeah. All right. Danny McCarthy, same reason that you did. He has six straight cuts. And I also took Wesley Bryan. Yeah. Because he's, he's cheap and he just makes cuts. I don't know why he was well. this inexpensive. I don't know either. And I didn't understand, by the way, Siwoo Kim being $10,800, the number one. He was top guy. Yeah. What's he What did he do? <laughs> I don't understand that either. <laughs> All right, so my other two teams. By the way, I almost took them just because maybe uh -oh. somebody knew something that we didn't. Yeah, but and you know the prognosticators, that. They're, not, they're not that good. No, no anyway. I uh, took Kevin Streelman on one team. I picked him most of the year. He's made five straight cuts. He was 25th last year. Putts really good on Poana. Okay. And get this. Tenth and par five scoring, four par fives this week. Okay. All right. Then I took a flyer. Oh boy. J 
J.B. Holmes. I had him, and I took him off. He hasn't played in forever. I know. He played well here last week. I I'm, I'm justifying your your pick right now. He came in ninth last year. He's, I, been out, he's been out since July for, with a shoulder injury. Yes, and he only played once. I know. And I, and I like him, but I, it was risky, and I liked my pick. You know so what? I, this is all at risk, right, baby. Yeah. Okay, the other team took Mark Hubbard. Uh, same reason as well, you. What team have? What week haven't you taken? I know. Him lately? Streaky. Uh, he's top 13 last year. Made three or four cuts there. Not bad. And then I took a hunch. <laughs> Just a hunch. Took Patrick Rogers. I had him too. Because he's been doing okay. I just thought and he, he was, does well last year. I just thought he was a value play. Yeah, he's 7,600. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One guy neither of us took. Uh oh. Jordan Spieth. Didn't take him, and I didn't take Phil Mickelson. Well, I, I'm not sure he was a lockdown, but when you When's look the last at time this, Jordan's played that event. I man, I, I bet he's done well. He's done well there. I remember him playing there a long time ago, yeah, early in his career. I mean, yeah, he's not that old to have. Yeah, we didn't career, take him. We didn't take him. He was still in the nine thousands. Mm -hmm. I hope he does well. I do too. Just not against. If I'm our not going to make money this week, I hope it's because Jordan wins. Yeah, because he needs an he needs a confidence boost. Yeah. So there you go. Those are our picks. Read them and weep. I'm going to say four teams in the top in the money this week. We have a lot of commonality. Just don't say Stone Cold Lock. That's Stone Cold Lock, <laughs> Brendan Steele. Dang it. We just got screwed. All right, so check it out. It's Avid Golfer Magazine's Fearless Fantasy Forecast. You can check out our uh, YouTube page. Subscribe to that. You can check this all out. And until then, bet any way you want, but lean on us.